That's four o'clock on June 27th. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for being here at our special council meeting. Becky, can you call the roll, please, ma'am? Please. Mayor Bill Hastings. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Chris Harris. Here. Council Member Frank Carroll. Here. Council Member Janet Court. Here. Council Member Duran Dowdle. Here. Council Member Jennifer Jordan Stockdick. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, tonight, our invocation will be given by Pastor Fred Willis with the Holy Covenant United Methodist Church. Following that, we will have Corporal Pena with the Katy Police Department, and he will lead us in the pledge to the U.S. flag and then the Texas flag. Pastor Willis. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, let us pray. God, I want to say thank you on behalf of all those who have gathered here today. Thank you for the amazing things that happened to us and through us and sometimes even in spite of us. In midst of the turmoil of this season, we also thank you for your being ever present with us. God, today these men and women gather to make decisions for our community. Be with them. Provide them moments of deep thought and wisdom. Help them to use their best skills and judgment as they consider the merits and problems of each matter placed before them. May they have a confidence in what is good and fitting, as well as the ability to work together in harmony, even when there is honest disagreement. We trust and we believe that all the people gathered here today are intent on doing good work to represent the people of Katy fairly and well, no matter who they might be, their station of life or where they come from. May the efforts of this group be blessed as we ask for your help. May they always find a way to move forward with a shared purpose. And may the things that are truly important unite us all to do what is just and right for everyone, even in a time of great separation amongst your children. To Lord, to you we pray, amen. Thank you, Pastor Willis. Corporal Pino. Please stand. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Pledge to the Texas Flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, Corporal Pena. And thank you again, Pastor Willis. Thank you for being here and taking your time to do that for us. We will move on to item number three. Uh, this is public comments, and I'd like to remind the audience that you will have three minutes to address any item that is not on the agenda. And let me remind you that City Council cannot respond. Is there anyone wishing to speak? Anybody that would like to participate via teleconference and speak at this time, please press nine or raise your hand. Okay, having no one wish to speak, we will move on to item number four. Comments from the public on any item on the agenda. Anyone wishing to participate via teleconference that would like to speak at this time? Please press nine or raise your hand. And again, having no one, we will move on to item number five, the physical year 2020 monthly financial report through May the 31st, 2020. And this is an information item only. Moving to item number six, the consent agenda. 
Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? Motion to move as presented. Second. Motion by Harris, second by Councilwoman Court. All in favor? Or is there any discussion? Stop it. Oh, stop it. I'm sorry. Any discussion? No discussion on the consent agenda, Mayor. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We will move on to item number seven. Consider a resolution. Item 7A is consider a resolution adopting the Harris County Multi-Hazard Mitigation Action Plan update. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Is there any discussion? No discussion. We'll call for the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. 7B, consider a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign the Texas Department of Emergency Management, otherwise known as TDEM, coronavirus fund terms and conditions. Uh, this is a grant application through Waller County. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Is there any discussion? No discussion, we'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 7C, consider a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign an equipment lease purchase agreement with Motorola Solutions Incorporated. These are radios that are requested by Katy Police Department. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Is there any discussion? No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item number 7D. Consider a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign an interlocal agreement for financing, construction, operation, and maintenance of the Katy Boardwalk facilities between the City of Katy, Texas, Katy Management District Number One, and Katy Development Authority. Do I have a motion? Motion. motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 7E, FM 1463 project. Consider a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign an interlocal agreement between the city of Katy, Texas and the Katy Development Authority funding the FM 1463 project. And this is with Metro funds. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Second. Motion and a second. Is there any discussion? No discussion. We'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. 70 I I consider a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign an advanced funding agreement with the state of Texas for voluntary utility relocation contributions on state highway improvement projects. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Is there any discussion? We call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All the same sign. Motion carries. Item number eight, consider an ordinance appointing Charles Anthony Weir III as regular member to the City Planning and Zoning Commission, filling the vacancy created by Kenneth A. Berger. Motion. Second. Hang on. Ms. McGrew, will you read the caption, please? 
We're good, Mayor. That was the full caption of that ordinance. That was the full caption? That, that's on, presented on the agenda. That's unorthodox, but it is. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're good. We had a motion, didn't we? Chris, and the second was, I'm sorry. Jennifer. Okay. Any discussion? We'll go ahead and call for the vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. At this time, uh, we will move into executive session authorized by Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, Section 551.071, consultation with an attorney regarding pending litigation, attorney client privilege information. And we will go into executive session at 412. Thank you. 
Looks like we're just missing the mayor. Everybody back now? I don't see Chris. Oh, there he is. Okay. Looks like we have everybody. Okay. We will open the meeting back up to the public at 445. Item number 10, consider any action deemed necessary as a result of the executive session. Do I have a motion? Mayor, I make a motion that we uh, continue uh, legal uh, negotiations with by the city attorney. Second. Motion is second. Is there any discussion? Who is the second? Harris. Chris. No discussion, we'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item number 11, Councilman's reports. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna start with Duran. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Charles Weir to the uh, CPZ. Got an opportunity to speak to him this morning and uh, I think it's a good choice uh, to bring him on board. Also, I hope everybody had a great uh, Father's Day, uh, all you fathers out there, and you got time to sp spend time with your families. Uh, also, the um, uh, the thing that we voted on earlier, the, uh, uh, the Hazard Mitigation Assistance Program, um, a lot of reading there, but a lot of great information, and, and uh, so if anybody would like to check into that, it's really something good to look at, and I uh, hope that everybody has a, a great, safe Monday. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Dattle. Uh, Councilman uh, Harris. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Thursday, the Katie Cowgirls uh, held a parade for World War II veteran, uh, Mr. Brody, there at Katie City Park. Several council members uh, came. It was a great time. Uh, police department, fire department, public works. I got to ride along with public works and uh, Lots of different uh, police agencies were there and fabulous job. Katy High School fans, volunteers, they came together and donated money and put out signs congratulating all the graduates that are graduating here on Wednesday. And if you'll drive down Highway 90, you can see the signs around Katy High School and by the train depot. So great time. Go Tigers. Thank you. Uh... Councilwoman Um, I'd just like to say uh, my youngest graduated from Katy High School last year. And so I just want to say congratulations to all the students that are graduating this week on Wednesday. Um, super excited for all you guys. Um, and I hope everybody had an amazing Father's Day. Councilman Carroll. I have no report. Councilwoman Court. Um, I just want to remind everybody listening that um, KCM is uh, in need of donations. If you go to their Facebook um, page, you'll see a diagram which lists all the different items that they are needing. And then I also, I was um, helped volunteer put out those signs this weekend. So I kind of want to address the graduating seniors if that's okay. And um, what I have what I want to say is, and I wrote it down so I could remember it, um, this year with all its challenges, disruptions, and disappointments will definitely define you going forward, but it's up to you as to how it defines you. You can choose to dwell in disappointment and anger over the things you missed this year, or you can choose to rise above it 
and learn compassion for others and self-reliance. Your future is before you. Embrace it. And only you can choose who you want to be. So congratulations and best of luck going forward. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Uh, my report's going to be very short. We had a uh, wonderful little parade for Mr. Brody, 95 years old, his birthday. Uh, he was quite the World War II war hero. Uh, a very interesting man to talk to. Uh, and I've gotten lots of calls from his family saying this is probably the highlight of his 95 years. So everybody that took part in that, uh, Thank you so much. It was an honor to just be there and watch him smile and salute people. Other than that, uh, graduates, congratulations. Uh, been kind of a bummer for your graduation, but we all know that uh, you're going to move on and you will probably, hopefully, possibly have another graduation to look forward to. So with that, I'd just like to thank the community for all of their support during this pandemic and to thank them for, you know, trying to just do what is right. And we've fortunately been very lucky here in the city and I know that we all appreciate the, the hard work and the diligence they're doing to try to keep up with all these numerous orders and changes in their lives. So with that, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Is there any discussion? None. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Bye.